our baby boy is almost here and I have my hospital bag all packed up and ready to go and I'm going to share with you what's in it. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I'm here to help you understand your skin and find skincare products that work for you and occasionally take you through my everyday life. So if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I think being a physician and having delivered babies in the hospital and having spent a lot of time in hospitals sort of gives me a little bit of a unique perspective on what you actually need to take with you to the hospital versus what's already provided. And I would say that my approach to packing for my delivery is pretty pretty minimalist. The hospital has a lot of things there available to you and hospitals are kind of gross. They're filled with lots of germs and bacteria and other things that I don't really want to expose all of my personal belongings to. So this is kind of like what I would bring to the hospital in a minimalist way, but I think it's very realistic for what you actually might need. The other thing is you can show up to the hospital with essentially nothing. They will still take care of you. You will still have a successful delivery. Not all births are as predictable as one would hope. So just know that if you go to the hospital with absolutely nothing, you will also be completely fine. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first, like, what am I packing in? You can pack in anything. I'm actually gonna pack in the diaper bag that I plan to use for my baby. I asked you guys, like, what's a good diaper bag? And I got a lot of amazing recommendations. This is the Kinney Backpack by Nina Bay. And I will absolutely use this uh, in the future for my baby's needs, but for now, it's mine. I love it because it's super roomy, so I've unpacked it so you can kind of see. Tons of room in there. It's all light on the inside, so you're not looking into this black abyss, but you can see all the pockets there. It's a backpack, so I can put it on my back if I am carrying something out of the hospital, like a child. But this is what I'm going to pack in today. Whenever I'm packing for something ahead of time, there are always going to be items that I want to bring with me, but I can't pack up ahead of time because I need those items on an everyday basis. And when that's the case, what I will do is make myself a list and I will just leave that list on top of my bag so that when I'm heading out the door on my trip or to the hospital, I can just run through that list and make sure I've grabbed everything so that I'm not without my essentials. So for the hospital, the list I've put together is my Kindle because I want some form of entertainment that is not like my computer, but then also my laptop and my computer charger, my phone and my wallet, which has my ID and my insurance information in it, contacts and glasses. And then I also put on here snacks because I always want snacks. A couple of other things I'm packing ahead of time are my headphones. So these are fully charged and those are just gonna go straight into my hospital bag, a phone charger and headphone charger with a long cord if possible, because sometimes outlets are kind of hard to reach. And so if you have one that has a longer cord, that is ideal. And then, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is my journal. So that's also on my list is I am gonna bring my journal. I might not be in the mood to use it and that's okay, but I would like to have it there because I do think this is a pretty momentous occasion and if I can and just jot down a few things. I think that will be a really special thing to be able to reflect back on. Next up is toiletries. So all of my toiletries I have put in here. Like I said in the beginning, you can show up to the hospital with zero toiletries. They will give you a toothbrush and toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner and face wash and all of those things. But it's like a safety blanket for me, especially being in the skincare world. I wanted to pack a few of my own items as well. So I'll show you exactly what I'm packing. This is also a bit of a situation where it's like, know thyself. Will you be doing an extensive skincare routine in the hospital? Are you gonna wanna put on makeup while you're in the hospital? I know I'm going to want to do the bare minimum for my skin and I know myself, I'm not going to put makeup on. So I'm not bringing any makeup with me to the hospital and I'm just bringing like the most important skincare things. So when I'm in the hospital, I know I'm going to want to wash my face. And so one of the things I'm packing are pre-soaked cotton pads. So these are disposable cotton pads. There's about 10 of them in here. And I have just poured some of my Bioderma micellar water into here. So rather than packing up this big thing of micellar water or makeup remover or having to use sort of pre-packaged makeup wipes, this is sort of like make your own makeup wipes. And I think this is really good if I feel like I need to just like wipe down my face, but I can't get out of bed for whatever reason. Or if I go into labor in the middle of the day and I show up with makeup on and I want to be able to remove it in the evening, I have this as sort of my go-to. And I'm also bringing my CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser. These are little samples that we get in clinic to give to patients. So 
I'm borrowing one, but I like this because I can use this as a face wash. And then if I take a shower while I'm in the hospital, I can also just use it as my body wash. And I know it's going to be really gentle. And then really just a couple of other skincare things. So I have my cleansers. I want a moisturizer. So I'm bringing my CeraVe moisturizing lotion. This is a very reliable moisturizer that I pack with me on a lot of my trips because I can use it on my hands and my face and my body if I want to. And I just know that it's always going to perform and I'm not going to have any bad reaction to it. I am going to pack a sunscreen. Now, if I'm being totally realistic, will I use sunscreen in the hospital? Eh, probably not, honestly, but I don't know. I. I can't go anywhere without sunscreen. I'm a dermatologist, okay? So the one I'm bringing is my Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. I have been absolutely adoring this sunscreen. It's super lightweight. It goes on so well. It's been recommended to me by so many different people and I have just loved it. So I am gonna pack it just in case I do want a little SPF protection when I'm leaving the hospital or by the off chance that I have some massive window just shining light on me the entire time that I'm there. And then last, but certainly not least when it comes to skincare, I am going going to bring a lip balm. And I wanted one that came in a stick form, not one where you have to put your finger in and touch your face because again, we're in a hospital, lots of germs. I'd rather keep everything as clean as, uh, as I possibly can. And this is the More Than Lip Balm by Cioris. This is just a really nice nourishing lip balm. It doesn't have any scent or fragrance or flavor. And it just gives my lips that added hydration that they may need while I'm hanging around in a hospital room. Other toiletries that I am packing include my toothbrush, so it's in there. The hospital has toothbrushes if you don't bring one. A little toothpaste and then floss. Floss is like, I can't go anywhere without floss. Floss and sunscreen. I am also going to bring an extra pair of contact lenses and a little bit of contact solution to have with me. And then a few things for my hair. So I am not going to wash my hair in the hospital. Like I can barely wash my hair when I'm in my own house. I'm not, I'm not doing it in the hospital, but instead of that, I will be bringing some dry shampoo. So my Living Proof PhD or Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo is like holy grail hair product for me. And in case my hair just needs a little bit of love and revival, I'm gonna pack that with me instead. And then other hair things I'm bringing are a hair brush, just because giving birth can be quite the athletic event. And I could imagine looking a little crazy afterward and just wanting to calm that down with a brush. A whole baggie of different hair accessories. So in here I have like a big scrunchie, a hair clip, bobby pins, way too many hair ties. I just have a feeling I'm gonna want my hair back and out of the way some of the time at least. And so I kind of just wanted some options. Ooh, a couple of other toiletries I forgot to mention that I'm bringing are eye drops. These are the Maximum Strength Redness Relief Formula. I'm sure if you're an ophthalmologist watching this, this is making you cringe because we don't really like people to use redness relief eye drops all that much, but there might be a lot of tears and there might be some times where I don't want my eyes looking completely bloodshot. So eye drops it is, and then a disposable shower cap as well, because like I said, I will not be washing my hair. Let's move on to clothing. So the first thing I am packing is a pair of slip on shoes. So these are my Birkenstocks. I put them in a Ziploc baggie because they're Birkenstocks and I wear them all the time. And I don't want to put these freely floating in my hospital bag, but I do want a pair of shoes that I can just slip easily in and out of. I know some people bring slippers to the hospital, but to me, slippers just absorb everything nasty. And again, walking around a hospital, I just, I don't really want that. They do give you little socks with grippies on the bottom. So you could just walk around in socks, but I'll have the Birkenstocks there if I want to walk around the hospital or for when I'm going home, I don't want to have shoes that I have to bend over and tie to put on. And then speaking of going home, uh, I do want to have an outfit to go home in. I don't expect that to be a glamorous or a cute outfit. I just want it to be really comfortable and for it to be accommodating for my body, whether I have a vaginal birth or a C-section. So I've just packed a big black oversized sweatshirt and then my super comfortable Vori sweatpants. I packed everything in black because after birth, whether you have a C-section or a vaginal birth, there's a lot of bleeding and other things that exit your body. So I just wanna be wearing all dark colors in case, in case there's an accident. Let's just say it how it is. I'm also packing a pair of socks to leave the hospital in if I want to have my feet covered. The only thing I'm not really packing is underwear. Uh, and the reason for that is the hospital will provide you with mesh underpants to wear 
after your birth. And believe me, you are going to want to wear those and not put on any of the underwear that you personally own. So hospital is gonna need to hook me up with those. I'm also bringing a couple of clothing items to wear while I'm in the hospital in case I, for whatever reason, am not in my hospital gown, which I plan on wearing the majority of the time. So one is just like an oversized large t-shirt to sleep in. That can be really comfortable. I'm also packing a robe. So this is one thing where I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear a robe or not, but Stork, which is a super cute maternity clothing company sent this to me and I am gonna bring it because I don't know if they're gonna let me have visitors in the hospital because we're in a pandemic, but if they do and I don't wanna be in a hospital gown, a robe seems like a really nice option. Or if I shower and I wanna get up and out of bed and I don't wanna put a hospital gown back on, having just sort of like a nice comfy robe sounds appealing to me. A couple of other clothing items that I'm bringing that I'm not sure if I will want to wear or not, but I did want them as options and they don't take up a lot of room in my hospital bag are a nursing bra. So this one is by the company Bodily and I really like it because it has snaps in the back so I can adjust the size. And again, black because black is the best. And then also a nursing tank top. So if I don't wanna wear a bra and I just wanna have a nursing tank top on maybe to go home in. I do have one of those. This is also by Stork. So just a few backup clothing items. I know I might not end up wearing them at all, but I also might wanna wear them home under my sweatshirt. So a few options. And really just a couple more things that I plan to bring. So aside from clothing for me, I am gonna bring some clothing for baby. I just can't look at these without just being like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So a little going home outfit for him. This is by Solly Baby. It's just like their little sleeper set, the little top and the matching bottoms. I I am bringing like a little backup onesie as well. So you might go home in this, a swaddle, just in case. I know the hospital gives you blankets, but I'm packing a swaddle uh, for him as well. All of this together is like the size of a Big Mac hamburger. So <laughs> I don't think it's gonna take up too much excess room. Last but not least, I'm going to bring a water bottle. So they absolutely provide you with water in the hospital, but I just like to have access to my own. I usually like water bottles that are sort of like a squirt top, uh, but because I'm in the hospital, I don't like the idea of having one that has has the top just open to the air at all times. So that's why I'm packing sort of one like this where I can fill it up and it keeps it nice and insulated and it's massive. And then I'm also gonna pack some gum because if you get certain medications while you're in the hospital, then they don't let you eat anymore. And I like to be chewing on things. So I'm gonna pack some gum for myself as well. You may have noticed I didn't pack a pillow for myself or a towel. Those type of creature comforts are gonna be like completely personal preference, whether or not you wanna bring them into the hospital or not. I'm a really good sleeper. I can sleep on <laughs> I can sleep on a wood floor. So I'm not really worried about having like my pillow there. It doesn't provide me any excess comfort or feeling of safety or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna use the hospital towels after you give birth. There's all sorts of things happening with your body. And I just wanna be able to use that towel and leave it and never see it again. Okay, that is it. That is what I am bringing to the hospital with me when I go to deliver this little baby. Is there anything that you packed in your hospital bag that I didn't mention? Anything you would add? Keep in mind, there is a chance I will have already given birth by the time that this video goes live. But regardless, I think the comments can be really helpful for other people who are looking for advice on what to pack in their own hospital bags and to guide their birthing experience. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.